Hi, everybody. How's it going? Hope all is well. Um, this first week is going, and we're so excited to have you guys in it. Um, those of you that have missed a few bits of class or are doing this on Canvas, this is just your opportunity for me to explain a little bit about what we're doing. Now, uh, right here, if you click on Unit 1 to get here, I guess you've already found it if you're watching this video because it's going to be posted right here. Uh, you have your first three assignments for the week. Now, if you click on it, it will show you the due dates, but these have all been assigned for the week, so you should be working on those. The first one right here is your entrepreneur report. This is just your opportunity to see how other people have actually been doing entrepreneurship. How have they succeeded? How have they failed? Uh, and I've made kind of a fun little way. It's got all the instructions through here. Really what I want you to do is create an Instagram page for them and make one, two, three, four, five, five posts and make a couple comments. Now, you're not making an actual Instagram. I'm not requiring you to make anything like that. There's Google Slides that you'll be using, and there's instructions right here that can help you uh, with that as well. Now, for those of you that haven't been assigned an entrepreneur, I'm going to give you three choices right now. Number one is Steve Bezos. Number two, Steve Jobs, or Jeff Bezos, Steve Jobs, and Oprah Winfrey. I apologize for the screw up right there. Hopefully, I'm not too bad, and I can get through this little video. Um, when you're done with that, if you are on Canvas, I would like you to actually hurry and do a quick little presentation on a video, submit it, and then we'll be done. Sound like a plan? It's a plan, Stan. Let's do it. Um, to get back to the other two, I'm going to hit home. We'll go back to unit one really fast. And on here, you have two different ones called Lean Canvas Problem Section and Lean Canvas Solution Section. Now, these are kind of the same in the fact that they're all going to be part of your same assignment. Now, this whole class is really kind of focused around you guys creating your own business. And your business can be really whatever you want. But in order to make it easier later on, entrepreneurs have developed something called the Lean Canvas model. Now, you can see the Lean Canvas model right here is right right here's the word lean canvas model if you're wondering what it looks like it is this guy right here it's your roadmap to success is what i like to call it really what it is is it gives you a chance to go through all the sections of a business plan pinpoint with bullet points just a few things that you would need so that later on when you're writing you already have your ideas pen to paper now for your problem we're going to do this so let me stop for a second, sorry. Um, usually in my class, we do this on a big white sheet of paper. I have that butcher paper that we cut up and then you draw on it and you make it all pretty and cool. Because of COVID, we're not gonna be doing that. We're only gonna be doing it on a Google Slides. So all of your uh, different sections will actually be parts of a Google Slideshow. Um, if you need help knowing how to get to Google Slides, let me know. Now, the first thing that you guys have to do in order to finish this is to actually have an idea for a business. Make it something that you're interested in. It doesn't have to be something brand new, but to give you a couple of ideas from previous years, things that have worked out. I had a student that was really uh, big into veganism. They were a vegan and they said that there weren't any good vegan steaks. And so they were like, what can I do to do that? I'm going to make vegan steaks. And I'm going to call it rooted meats. It was high quality vegan meat. That's all she wrote her plan on. And it worked out perfectly. I had another student who wanted to be a tutor and said that a lot of people wouldn't hire him because he wasn't like a graduated professional in it. Uh, but he wanted to make a platform where people could actually help tutor others, uh, especially focused on college students in the areas of science, math, engineering, and technology. Uh, helping those college students become tutors and paying them uh, a reasonable salary instead of kind of ripping them off like a lot of other places do. He's actually started that company and is doing pretty well. Um, another idea that I saw was we had people that were really big into wanting to start a nonprofit and they saw that one of the biggest problems that we faced was homelessness. And so they're like, how can we help the homeless? We want to get them a job maybe. And they noticed that, well, pre-COVID, there was a lot of jobs that were open for skilled workers that weren't being filled. 
So their idea was to actually take the, the homeless population, train them, get them the needed counseling that they need, and then be able to place them in skilled positions with higher salaries and hopefully help them be able to pull out of poverty. Now, there's all sorts of things. Another idea that right here it tells you, I had a group of guys that was like, yo, I, I like protein. We drink protein before every meal. I want to make that so that it tastes better because it's gross. So they decided they were going to make a yogurt so that it would taste a little bit better and call it Jack Samurai Protein. These guys did it. They wrote the plans. They were awesome. You can make it about whatever you want. If you're like, I really just want to open a restaurant and call it my own name. You can do that. That's fine. Start figuring out what you want to do. Now with the problem section, you're going to have to answer a couple things. Every single business is solving one sort of problem or another. And in order to succeed, they're filling a problem that's big enough that people want to buy their actual product. Think of something as stupid as the selfie stick. What was the problem? I didn't have long enough arms to reach out here and be like, look at my cool selfie. And so what did they do? They made a stick that clicked it for you. You're going to find something that can be a problem no matter how simple it is. From there, I want you to explain why you think that's an actual problem because maybe it takes you actually thinking through that to realize that your product couldn't work or maybe you're like, it really is a problem. Back your idea with stats. Stats are what make problems more powerful. If there's no stats to back it or no personal stories or something to back it, you're really just blowing smoke at that point. Try and find a way to make it work. And then make sure that your actual idea is actually solving the problem that you're listing. Now for solutions, that's the other section and I'm not going to click on it right now because it's just on the other one, uh, on the other assignment right next to this. But you're just doing the same thing, but you're answering how this is solving the problem and listing how it's doing it with those solutions. It's the same thing. You want stats. You want as much information as you can have. Now, I'm not saying write a paragraph. I'm saying write bullet points so that later on when we have to write paragraphs, you'll be ready to go. Um, have fun with this. Enjoy it. I hope you guys are having a good time. If you need help, please, please, please let me know and we'll get back to whatever we can. I try and answer my email as fast as I can. I apologize if I'm not great at it. Um, hope to see you soon. Bye, Warriors.